hope everybody's doing good today. I hope that the weather is good where you're at and you're seeing some trees change. And things are still green here. But everybody in here is critical thinker and smart and all these kind of things. Although there's a lot of people that are smart and they're not critical thinkers and this, that, and the other. And I was going to talk about religion and politics, the two things that people say don't ever talk about. Well, you know what? That's the problem. People don't talk about it. And say, don't talk about politics and church. Well, what better place? I mean, goodness gracious. You know, the founding of this country was even the signing of the Declaration of Independence. There was a number of pastors on there. They couldn't agree on things. They haggled like most human beings do and fussed about different opinions until they were told enough is enough. Go pray, go fast, and then we'll come back together. And then we got our Declaration of Independence. Putting God first. It's awesome. So I guess a word there while you're thinking about whatever question you want to ask is we're already having early voting starting at the beginning of this week. And that is a time to vote. So vote. Where I said, you know, if you don't vote, you can't have an opinion. So it is uh, what whatever your opinion is, this is a more pivotal time of my entire lifetime and probably for the existence of this country. And I really urge everyone to get out and vote. Okay, I said it. Something else that I want to let you know about, let me pull it up and see if you can see it, is we are connected with uh, Gateway Church. And this helps because we're not always available. We're, I don't know if you know, we're open three days a week. And we're not working a full three days a week. We praise God. He has kept us going. And we're working all the time. We're talking about at the office working on clients. So that, that has changed during this year of COVID, when we'll call it that. So simple for those that text, you can text the word CONNECT to 71010. That connects to all the choices. If you have any prayer needs, text PRAY to 71010. So you'll notice that the text number is the same for all of them. It depends on the word that you text. And those that I pray that if you don't know the Lord, I really don't know of any better time in his lifetime, I'll put it that way, to accept the Lord. And, you know, if y'all ever want to call us, contact us, get in touch with us, you need the Lord, we'd be more than glad to lead you to the Lord, to say that prayer with you. If you want to talk to somebody else, you can text DECISION to 71010. And I also propose that y'all get this out there because can I just side over here? Even if you have any questions or doubt, you know, I, I led a friend of mine to the Lord a while back, a couple of years on his deathbed. He was the last living person that I had known that long. I'd known him since I was a teenager. And he was a rough guy, but you know, I hadn't seen him in a while because he is that way. And then I heard how he's doing. I went to visit him several times. And he didn't want to talk about it. So I came visit again, talked to him again. And he said, you know, sloughing it off. I dealt with that when I was a child. I said, what do you mean? Tell me the story. And he told me a story about when he was uh, a little kid, eight or somewhere a little bit older than that. And a friend of his led him to the Lord and he cried. I'd say, well, you know, that could be, but you know what? It'd be good to know that you know that you know. And by seeing the fruit of the people that I have seen led to the Lord and that I've led to the Lord, I see a shift. I see a shift. There is a spiritual shift and the person changes. It's not a day and night shift and everything automatically changes. I'm saying they start heading in a different direction. And things start changing in their life. And you can see it on them. You can feel it at the time, the transition that takes place. And I told him, I haven't seen that in your life. So he still wasn't ready. I left. I came back again. He was literally on his deathbed. And I tried to talk to him. He was hardly able to talk, going in and out of consciousness. And I said, hey, my friend, I love you. Now is the time. If there's going to be any time, I'm asking you to seriously consider this. And he was ready. And I led him to the Lord. And I felt that shift in the spirit. I saw a different look in his eye. 
And he went unconscious and he did not come conscious and then died shortly after. But after that, just before he went unconscious, he also said, he reached up and held my arm and he said, be sure you tell my wife and get her to know the Lord. He shifted. He felt it. He got it. And he's with the Lord. Many people don't have that opportunity, end times or not. You don't know if you're going to be in a car accident. You're going to fall and bump your head on the toilet tub or whatever it is, or a heart attack. So I really, really think that everybody should seriously consider it would be really, really important to lead people to the Lord at this time. They need him. They don't, anybody that don't have the Lord, they don't realize what they're missing, but you can help them. So I just ask that you would participate in doing that. What are your questions today? I, I had written to you about that shoulder sequence. Shoulder sequence. Yes. Tell me who's talking. This is Ann Hayes. Okay. Refresh my memory. About um, when I work on somebody and I do the shoulder sequence, I usually seat myself on the side of the shoulder and knee. But in the flip book, that's not what it says. And so that was my confusion. Uh, it says left sequence shoulder, position yourself on the right. You're right. I haven't gone through the whole thing, mm -hmm. but already I can see that that's a problem. Okay, so what that is showing is that it should be sitting on the same side, left that's for left, right for right. That's what I thought. So that's another correction that we need to make. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. You know, so much going on. And if somebody don't point it out, we won't know. Oh, I do know that. I just had a friend who had some issues. They had given her some antibiotics. She got a rash. I said, you need to call and let them know. Otherwise, they're not accountable for what's happening. You know, well, I appreciate, appreciate yeah. all you're doing. And I am so thankful for when you came up here and worked with us. So um, I'm still plugging away. <laughs> Good. I hope you're not the only one. I hope you got a lot of people plugging away too. Well, I've got a few. Well, I was just looking at my chart, flip chart, and I don't have page numbers on it. So was that all updated? On your procedures booklet? Uh-huh. Must be an older one. Yes. Okay. Things do change. Somebody uh, typed in the chat that they're looking for, uh, they were referring to the arm paralysis that Ann talked about. And I don't know that uh, that was originally like in a chemo book or something you hand, you know, I don't know if that's in any book now, but we use that a lot. Do you have it, Ann, over there? Well, it says chemo journal on the top and page seven on the bottom. Now, just so you'll know that we have all those <coughs> journals free online. online. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have the originals. I has just never got them online. But you know, your your magazine was the one that you wrote on pain. Can you see it? That is one that I've used a number of times and helped different people totally get uh, over paralysis of different types in a what I'd call a fairly short period of time. And one of the reasons is is because that is very very encompassing. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you're holding the fingers a number of times. It's kind of like a little bit of some of that low back stuff that we went through. Mm -hmm. We have some things like that. I mean, you know, recently I've gone through three different brand new sequences for low back. And they're not in any books. They're still not in any books right now. Right. But you can go on to the lecture and get those and you can contact us. Yeah, that low back pain one is really great. Very thorough, awesome stuff. Mm-hmm. When I get time, I'll probably have some more. I don't know if, as far as new ones. I don't know if that's going to be for a while because I'm fixing to get geared up and do all the videos from A to Z all over again for the TKM Academy. So that's going to be a, a lot of work for a, a, quite a good while. And when are you doing that? Uh, probably starting that next month. The website for the TKM Academy is being worked on. So I have a team of people working on that. But... Uh, that TKM Academy is going to be the largest website that we've ever had online containing information and training from A to Z, introductory all the way up. It will have the books on there. Uh, everything will be digital. You can still get hard copies of things that will always be available, but it will be optional. 
And of course, the cost is going to go fractional of what it's been because it will be more automated, although there is lots of ongoing cost for that. And that's going to be added to for Lord willing, as long as I'm breathing air and able to do things. From now, we've already been working on it for about three months. Uh, preparation has been for a long time. And the intense work is going to be probably for the next year, at least gathering up all the videos, redoing intro, redoing EMT, redoing self-help, redoing levels one through eight, uh, special topics, pulses, body biography, advanced course, and everything else in between. And we're going to put in, we're going to have an archives section that will have every possible thing I can get into it. All pre-recorded stuff, all audio recorded, all the radio shows we did, uh, publications, all that information for people that want to do further research or reference. And when you've done a course, you can go back and review it as many times as you want without an additional cost. And for doing all these things, there's a membership. And so uh, our hope is that people will see the value to be an ongoing member, not just go on to and get a class and go on your way and forget everything. So any questions before we sign off? You know, the nice thing is when everything becomes digital, we can search. <laughs> That's true. So there's going to be a lot of benefits to that. And that's another reason why membership would be good. You could just pop on there anytime you want and search, just log in. So until the first Friday, unless I hear from you, God bless you, keep you well, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. All right. Bless you. Thank you for doing this. All right. Yes. God bless you. Bye-bye.